Hi everybody and welcome to a new full-blown The Sound of AI course. This time we tackle something super hot right now, that is generative music AI. In this video, I'm gonna give you an introduction on the course, what to expect, the different prerequisites, who the course is for, so that you know how you can navigate it. But before we get into it, I want to announce something amazing that this course has been made in collaboration with what I believe is the best academic music AI lab in the world. That is the music technology group at University Pompeu Fabra. It's an honor to work with these guys. So let's get into it. So what's the main goal of this course? Well, we want to give you the necessary AI skills to be creative with music. And who do we address? Well, we address, of course, technologists, so developers, music tech hackers, MIR, music information retrieval researchers. But at the same time, we also address the other side of the moon, that is musicians and creatives. What are the prerequisites for taking this course? Well, these prerequisites are mainly for technologists and they should be able to uh, code at an intermediate level in Python that should have a decent basic understanding of machine learning and of course a basic understanding of music theory and uh, music in general of course like it's quite important given the topic and most importantly and this applies both to musicians and engineers you have to be ready to learn quite a lot because this course is going to be packed with a lot of volume, with a lot of information about generative music. Let's take a look at the overall course structure and that is divided into two phases. So for phase number one, we have a video lecture series, while for phase number two, we have a primer for the sound of AI. And it we're going to have an in-person workshop and that will be the first time we have something done in real life, in person with the Sound of AI community and network. So I'm super thrilled for that. So let me dive deeper into these two phases and give you all the details. We'll start with the video series, with the lecture series. So this is like uh, quite traditional for what I do here on the Sound of AI. And if you are a subscriber, you know how it works. And if you're not a subscriber, this is a great time for you to subscribe because you'll find a lot of content and value on this channel on all things music, AI, and audio. So what the video lecture series is about? Well, we're gonna be publishing a lot of videos here on the Sound of AI. And these videos will tackle two main things, theoretical and implementation practical foundations of generative music. And the greatest thing about this is that it is completely free for you to get. Now, let's take a look at how we're gonna organize this lecture series. And this will be made up of three parts. Part number one, will be foundations. And this will address both technologists and musicians. Here, you'll learn about the definition of generative music or the history of generative music. A, you'll have a high level understanding of the different techniques for generating music with AI. You'll also learn about the ethical implications of generative music, the legal implications, as well as the limitations that current systems have. So you get the gist of it. So it's all about the necessary context and foundation that you need in order to move on to part two that is targeting, that is addressed at engineers and technologists. This is a deep technical dive and here we'll see a lot of different techniques that you can use in order to generate music. We'll start with techniques that are more traditional, like for example, Markov chains or generative grammars or cellular automata, and then we'll move on until more contemporary techniques, like for example, transformer architectures for generating melodies, for example. Then once we'll wrap up part two, we'll move on to the final part that is called generative music tools for musicians. And here we'll analyze, we'll review 
a few different open source generative music models that are out there and we'll understand how they work on a high level and then we'll also use some code, pre-prepared code to create music with it. But this will be from the perspective of a musician who wants to use these open source tools. But of course, engineers will uh, can take advantage of this part as well by understanding how everything is put together. We can move on to the in-person workshop that will be hosted by the Music Technology Group at the University Pompeu Fabra in Barcelona. So let's take a look at some details. Of course, it will be hosted in Barcelona, Spain. The workshop will last for five days from Dece December the 11th until the 15th. And we're talking about this year, so 2023. And it will be quite intense because every day we'll have a packed schedule from 10 a.m. until 6 p.m will accept 30 participants divided as follows. So 20 technologists and 10 musicians. And how do we choose about like people who want to register? Well, it's quite straightforward. First come, first served. So if you want to uh, register, you have to hurry up because it's first come, first served. There will be a fee and the fee will be 150 euros. Last week when I announced the course and the workshop people asked me whether it would be streamed and the different sessions recorded and the answer to that is no we won't be streaming and we won't be recording because most of the work will be hands-on practical work working together and collaborating as you'll see in a second but we're still thinking about whether we will uh, record some of the main sessions and of course then uh, release them, publish them on the Sound of the Eye. So do let me know in a comment below whether like this is something that you would like to see. Now, what are the main goals for the workshop? We have three main goals. Goal number one is to bridge the gap between technologists and musicians so to let them collaborate together. So as we said, we have 20 technologists, 10 uh, musicians, and they will form 10 teams of you know, three people each, two technologists and one musician, and they will work together towards creating a music AI composition. And this is the second goal. And during the workshop, we'll also have a few open discussions where we'll address important themes about music AI, like for example, the impact of artificial intelligence on music, the ethical implications, the legal implications of this, or what can we do to improve generative music in the future? What techniques, what ideas, what are we missing today? So this will be very interesting discussions to have. The ultimate aim of the workshop, but of the course at large, is to bridge the gap between the two worlds, that of creatives, musicians on the one hand, and that of engineers and technologists on the other. We really, really wish to bridge the gap here and create interesting conversations. If you decide to attend the workshop, it's highly advisable that you follow all the video lectures because they will provide you with all the necessary foundations that you'll need the moment you'll have to work hands-on on music AI projects. Now, what about our more administrative stuff? Well, registration will open on November the 13th. Here you have the workshop website. Let's take a quick look at it. So here you have all the necessary information regarding dates, location to register. Remember, registration will open on November the 13th. So remember to bookmark the date because first come, first served. So you have to hurry up here, right? Here you have all uh, the necessary information and like for example the agenda as well. So I'll leave you the link to this website in the description. I won't be alone guiding you through this journey. I'll have two amazing colleagues. One is Dr. Iran Roman who's a postdoc at the Music and Audio Research Lab at New York University. He'll be uh, taking care of part three of the video lecture series and we'll also have Professor Xavier Serra, 
who's the director of the music technology group, who will be an instructor for the in-person workshop in Barcelona. And talking about the workshop, we'll also have a bunch of other instructors and teaching assistants uh, coming from the music technology uh, group. So there, if you decide to attend the workshop, you'll have the opportunity to have mentorships with me and with all the other amazing instructors. Let me tell you a little bit about the high level philosophy of this course. And as always with the Sound of AI channel, what I'd love to do is to mix theory with practice. I love to give you all the necessary theoretical background so that then you can use it to go out and create amazing stuff and to practice with it. And so we want to implement this philosophy in a bunch of different types of, of lectures, lecture types. So we'll have presentations when we'll have to introduce theoretical stuff. Then we're going to have code walkthroughs. I'm not going to have tutorials where I write all the lines of code line by line because it would take like too much time because there's too much. There are too many topics to cover. So rather, I'm going to have a, a different approach that is more of a high level approach where I'm going to comment and do a walkthrough of the code. And then during the workshop, of course, we're going to have hands on projects and at the same time, open discussions. Let's take a look at the learning goals, both from the side of technologists and musicians. Let's start with technologists. Well, as a technologist, if you take this course, you'll be able to outline different generative music use cases. You'll have a good understanding of the main symbolic and audio based generative systems out there. And you'll have the, you'll acquire the ability to develop your own generative music systems and to consider all the current limitations of these systems and see how you can overcome them using new approaches. You'll also learn how to collaborate with musicians to create AI driven music. And finally, last but not least, this is a very important point for us. And that is that you'll have a good understanding of the ethical and legal implications of generative music. Now let's jump on to the musician side. So musicians, the moment they'll take this course, will be able to, of course, have a good understanding of the different business use cases um, attached to generative music and creative music AI. They will have a good, a functional understanding of the high level perspective of generative music systems. They will also learn how to use existing a generative music systems to create music and that will have an understanding of the limitations of the current systems and will be able to collaborate with technologies to create music together leveraging AI. Musicians also will have a good understanding of the ethical and regulatory frameworks out there connected to generative music. Let's take a look at the software tools that we'll use throughout the course. Of course, everything will be done in the Python programming language. For all the bits of deep learning, we'll be using Keras and TensorFlow. And for part three, we will be using Google Colab so that you will not have to download all the different models and run them on GPU. And some of these models are quite large. So everything will be handled on the cloud. I'm sure you may be wondering, but where can I discuss all the topics related to this course? Well, there is the perfect place for that. And that is the Sound of AI Slack community. And if you're not a member already, you're missing out a lot. It's completely free. And there are more than 8,000 people who are super passionate about all things music, AI, programming and audio. So you should definitely be there. For this particular course, we have a channel called Generative Music AI course, and you'll be able to ask questions, to connect with other people there, and, uh, and I'll be there as well to answer some of uh, the questions that are there. So let me show you that in a second. This is the Sound of AI community. So this is the, the general channel, and here you have the channel. It's completely new. So we'll be using this for all things and discussions regarding the uh, course. I'm sure you'll have another question that is, well, but where do I get all the learning material like slides and code? Well, we have a dedicated repository for that on GitHub. Let me show you that. 
it's here, now it's completely empty, but will uh, populate it as we release new videos. Let's quickly review the timeline of the course here. So for phase one, we start today, and when I'm publishing is November the 1st, and we'll get to the end in the first week of December. For the workshop in Barcelona, we've already seen this, it will start on December the 11th and it will end on December the 15th. The pace of the course is quite intense. I'll be releasing from three to five videos every week and the amount of effort in terms of hours that you should put in to follow along is probably between four to six hours. Okay, we've made it through this introductory video, so by now you should have a very good understanding of what to expect and how to navigate the course. You know how you can help us. You should smash the like button and then share this video with all of your friends and colleagues you believe could be interested in taking this course. This will really help the Sound of AI channel a lot. Thank you very much for your attention. I'll see you tomorrow with the first real video and we'll be defining what generative music is. Until tomorrow.